Hello Leo, how are you guys doing? In this reading, I'm going to be seeing what's going on with your person. So basically we're spying on them a little bit, but let's get into it. Let's see what's going on. This can be anything. We'll pick it up what kind of situation this is with regards to your guys' connection. So let's have a look and see. First of all, I always have to clear the energy and the space of uh, the previous readings or from the space or from previous readings of this table and send the positive vibes due to you guys if I can like basically speak English you know what I mean so let's get started the first card I'm going to use is the sacred traveler I want to see what we're basically looking at here this card kind of stuck out from the beginning grounding hmm. go deep and explore your roots that's a very very interesting energy come up here this can mean quite a couple of different things. We're going to have to get more cards out because this can be literally two people that are getting to know each other. And you guys, because whenever I see this energy of roots coming up here, look at that magician card wants to show its face, um, manifesting something, something is happening. This can literally be two people who have just met each other and they're getting to know each other. That's why it says go deeper. You're getting to know this person and exploring those roots as well can literally indicate that you guys may have very different backgrounds backgrounds okay things like different cultures different religions or very different upbringings even being from separate countries as well because that's when you start to get to know each other's roots like so what's up with your country what is your beliefs do you celebrate this do you celebrate that you know that kind of thing so let's see i feel like this is somebody you're getting to know honestly um what's going on with their energy let's see leo what's going on with this person's energy let's have a look and see whoa Whoa, six of wands and the lover's card. My goodness, Gemini's energy coming in here with the lover's card. There is without a doubt something different about you guys. The lover's card for me, it depends what cards come up around it. It indicates differences between two people, especially because we've already spoke about the differences between the two of you. Um, the lover's card with the six of inspiration, I'm pretty much mind blown. If that's in their energy, this can truly be a soulmate that you just met or that you're talking to um that's why you're kind of getting to know each other and with the going deeper as well with what i'm seeing here it looks to me like you guys can have very long conversations with each other and it's like you start to reveal parts of yourself to them and they revealing wow parts of themselves to you that they don't really do to other people very comfortable with each other it's because of that six of inspiration is um my card with my spirit guides that tell me that two people are not only seeing each other on the external look of what we are and who we are, but they're actually seeing each other from a soul level. Wow, soul recognition. I'm just going to put it out there and possibly for some of you this can be twin flame because as I was about to shuffle, spirit guide just said twin flame and I was like, whoa, okay, okay, that's not often that I, I ever do that in my readings because it's very rare that it does happen but there is somebody out there that this can be a very strong twin flame, it's like a twin flame vibe, what are they thinking about you? The ace of voices in the reverse position, wow. So you may not, you may be open to them, but at the same time, you might feel like you're not sure. Okay, you're still not sure. You, I do feel like you talk to them, but okay, this is very interesting. I almost feel like when I see these cards come up here, you guys haven't yet gotten to the place where this is a relationship. So with the Ace of Voices being there, I don't know if you even sometimes tell them, geez, well, I don't even know if this will work between the two of us because of the differences maybe in culture. Maybe you even live very far away from each other and there's like in different countries to that point. Uh, you're still deciding. I feel like they feel like you're still deciding about this new person, about them. With the Seven of Emotions being there, it tells me that you haven't yet given them your heart. Or you haven't yet said to them, I love you. It hasn't got to that place yet. You're still making a decision about what to do with regards to this connection. They know that, okay? Um, wow, this is really new. This is really new. Or if it's not new, you're very cautious. What are their feelings towards you? I'm so curious. Oh, they just want to make this work. They're not happy that this is not going where it wants to go. The Queen of Voices tells me they think a lot a lot in their mind about you know when you see the birds like this and all the feathers coming up this is air energy as well they think a lot about how to how to make something work one thing i can tell you about the energy of the queen of voices with the queen of it's actually queen of swords energy it is an extremely um loyal person it's somebody that's you know when they look in this direction 
they just want to go in this direction. They're not very fickle. So they're quite, a, um, even though they're air element, but you know what I like about the Queen of Voices being this air, which is swords? It's like whenever the Queen of Voices is trying to do something, you know, she, it's a male or female energy, but there's a queen, and um, it can be a man as well. They think about what they want, and then they start to take those practical steps and, and plans to get in that direction. What I can tell you, what they think about a lot is that it hasn't gotten yeah yet. The three of cups in the reverse position. I feel like they do have an emotion for you. They got feelings for you, but they they feeling like you're not reciprocating the feelings towards them. With the three of cups being in the reverse position, there's almost this energy of them going, okay, okay, it's not, it's it's gonna come still. It's gonna come still. Let me let me see how this unfolds. I I feel like they trying to make you like them by showing you more of their personality and who they are. Wow. Let's get spirit guide advice for you guys. Moving forward. Hello, the justice card has rocked up. And this card just did that. So we're going to see. Yeah, you, this is good. I mean, you may be on the brink of literally entering into a relationship with this person. But you're confused. And look at that. There's the judgment card in the bottom of the deck. You're confused. Judgment card in the reverse position. Tells me you're not sure what to do here. Even with the Seven of Cups, same kind of vibe. Um, with the Justice card coming in here, that's a very good card. It's also Libra's energy as well. So we've got Gemini. We've got Libra here. You have been given a choice here with the Justice card because the very balanced energy, it's literally telling you, by the way, Two cards, I'm going to tell you, are showing positive energy in the future. Because of the Seven of Cups being here, yeah, Seven of Cups, even though it talks about not being sure what decision to make, it's always a positive energy once you've made a decision. Justice card is a complete positive energy. Again, coming through, yeah, there's definitely a connection on a spiritual level between you and this person. Justice card also talks about karma as well. Remember, not all karma is bad karma. Sometimes karma is the glue that holds people together. It's because we have to experience certain things with a person again in another lifetime from a past lifetime. Okay, for you to... You have been given a choice with the Eight of Cups here as to what you want to do. Again, you've been given free will here again. For you to step into a relationship with them, you've got to leave your comfort zone, which is in all those little eight cups over there. You literally got to leave your comfort zone and take a risk and walk towards this person, like literally, and see where it goes. And that's the unknown element because of the moon being there. But let me tell you from what I'm seeing in the cards, to have this with a justice card right next to it, it looks very very positive energy coming through so guys if the reading resonates you can please hit that thumbs up button it's always good on our youtube channels to do so and um even subscribe if you want to do so because the readings do come out on like a daily basis unless there is something major that explodes in my life and i can't record but otherwise basically daily basis and i'm sending my love through to you guys thank you so much for watching bye